Did you fight over anybody? We always yeah, fought. Yeah. People don't want to hear that, we but really we really didn't. didn't. I think, like, everyone is obviously afraid we're going to be pitted against each other, mm -hmm. which I understand why, but it's truly a choice whether to truly compete with each other or support each other through it, and we definitely chose the latter. How do you think Jesse Palmer did as uh, host of The Bachelorette? We, he's a handsome guy. Too bad he's taken. We definitely gave him a lot of trouble. I think yeah. he learned so much with us. He's never had bachelorettes before, let alone two, let alone two that are crying all the time. <laughs> yeah. And he is just so supportive. <laughs> along for the ride, really. Yeah, he did great. It was, I think there was a special relationship because he watched us grow so mm -hmm. much on Clayton's season, and then he watched us grow even more, so he could support us in a way I think that a different host maybe couldn't, because he knows so much about us. This is double trouble, and... Mm -hmm. Double the drama. Do you think this it was, is this where the franchise goes? Would, would this work with two dudes, you think? I think we say it can definitely work, but the two guys would have to be as close and as open as Gabby and I both are for it to work. You really mm. have to have that open line of communication, otherwise yeah. it would just be going, I think, in a completely different direction. Right, if you want it to be easy and successful as mm -hmm. a friendship, but if you didn't put the other person first, it would take a completely different you know, path than what we took. Mm -hmm. So it'd be a different show. I don't think you could compare it to what we did. In what way um, did having each other help the most? It helps so much. Yeah. In every like facet. I really mm -hmm. feel like Just there breaking was down dates. I mean you do that anyway yeah. with a girlfriend, right? right? Like oh my God, he was so Exactly. And we yeah. were able to do it mid date. Like we could go and talk to each other and break mm -hmm. down like, oh my gosh, this just happened to me. He said this. Yeah. And it was so helpful. Yeah, it really was. And just having someone else who knows exactly what you're going through at that time mm -hmm. and has lived this crazy experience with you. Nobody else can understand you. Are you both happily engaged at this moment, even though obviously you're not wearing the ring. <laughs> we are both happy. Mm -hmm. And that's where we'll end it. You found each other, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the real love story. <laughs> that's what we say. Okay, right when the yeah. thing started, I said, you know what? I think they found each other. I think that's, that's right? We're done. Yeah, plot twist. <laughs> yeah. We chose each other at the end. Let's get ahead of ourselves. Uh-oh. Were the fantasy suites together? Oh my God. Were they side by side? Could you lean out the window and be like, help? Yeah, I'm knocking on the door. Gabby, are you right in there? You wanna, you wanna come hang we out? We're together. If I knock three times on the wall, that means interrupt, come in, then help. Come save me. Yeah. What was that situation? Were they proximitous? Or were they together? Yo, we'll get there mm -hmm. in time. Tune in. What can you tell us? Nothing. Nothing? No. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.